वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू स्टार नेटवर्क टू डेल्टा नेटवर्क कन्वर्जन इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन डेल्टा टू स्टार कन्वर्जन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन यूज डेल्टा टू स्टार कन्वर्जन टू हैव अ कन्वर्जन ऑफ स्टार टू डेल्टा कन्वर्जन वेन वी सी प्रूफ ऑफ formulas which i'll be going to explain you in this video right so let us see first what is star network and what is delta network so here you can observe we have star network and in this star network we have this terminal that is neutral terminal and this abc is connected in star pattern that's why it is referred as star network this network is also referred as t network where if you have b and c terminal over here and if you stretch this terminal over here then it is similar to t network right and here this star network that is also referred as y network why the reason is if you keep b and c terminal over here right and if you stretch a terminal over below side then you see it is appearing like y network now see this is delta network it is connected in form of triangle that's why it is referred as delta network and this network is also referred as pi network where you see here if b and c is connected over here and terminal a that is stretched like this then it is appearing like pi right so this network is also referred as pi network now let us try to understand how do we have conversion of star network into delta network so for that what i'll do is i'll merge star network inside of delta network first then after i'll explain you how to have a conversion of it now here we are having star network with resistor ra rb and rc and that we are deal with to convert in terms of delta network which is having resistance r1 r2 and r3 now when you want to calculate delta networks element let us say we want to calculate r1 first so for a calculation of r1 all you need to do is you will have to multiply pair of each of this resistor so that will be ra rb plus rarc plus rbrc and you will have to divide opposite resistance of r1 so opposite resistance of r1 is rc so here we will be dividing rc now when you want to calculate r2 then again for a calculation of r2 we will have to multiply pair of each of this resistor so that will be ra rb plus ra rc plus rb rc and we will have to divide opposite resistor that is rb so here i'll be dividing rb and when you want to calculate r3 then for r3 calculation we will have to multiply pair of each resistor so that is ra rb plus ra rc plus rb rc and we will have to divide opposite of r3 that is ra so here i'm dividing ra so whenever you want to convert star network into delta network then all you will have to do is you will have to multiply pair of those three resistors and you just add that like rarb plus rarc plus rbrc and you will have to divide opposite resistance of that delta network right so that is how you should do conversion of star into delta now what i'll do is i'll be going to explain you proof of this formulas now when you want to prove this formulas of r1 r2 and r3 if you see my previous video in that i have already explained delta to star conversion in that we have proved the value of ra rb and rc right so what i'll do is i'll be going to take this formulas to have a proof of star to delta conversion so let me take this formulas directly and that i'll be 
using it to have a conversion of star to delta. So let us say we have this equation 1, this equation 2 and this equation 3. Now what I'll do is I'll be using these three formulas to have a proof of R1, R2 and R3. So first what I'll be doing is I'll be multiplying equation 2 and equation 3. So I'll be multiplying RA and RB with each other. So if you multiply RA and RB then in left hand side it will be RA, RB and in right hand side you will be having multiplication of R1 into R1 means R1 square into R2 into R3. So R1 square R2 into R3 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3 square. Now what I'll do is I'll multiply this equation 3 with equation 1. So as if you multiply 3 and 1 then on left hand side we will be having RA and RC and on right hand side we will be having R1, R2 and R2 is there so R1, R2 square R3 and in denominator we will be having R1 plus R2 plus R3 square. Now what I will do is I will be multiplying equation 1 and equation 2. So as if you multiply equation 1 and 2 then on left hand side we will be having RC and RB and on right hand side we will be having R1, R2 and R3 square and in denominator we will be having R1 plus R2 plus R3 square. So let us say we have this equation that is equation A, equation B and equation C. Now what I will do is I will add equation A, B and C. So if you add equation A, B and C we will be having R A R B plus R A R C plus R B R C on left hand side you see and that is equals to on right hand side we need to add this so that is now if you see this equation then in this equation you see R1, R2, R3 that is common right. So let us take R1, R2, R3 common from this term. So if you take common R1, R2, R3 then here R1 square is there so that will be R1 plus here R2 square is there so there here it will be R2 plus here R3 square is there so we will be having R3 over here and in denominator we have R1 plus R2 plus R3 square. So you will be cancelling this right. So now our simplified equation that will be RARB plus RARC plus RBRC equals to R1 plus R1 R2 R3 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3. Let us say this is equation D right. Now what we will be doing is we will be using equation D and equations of star to delta conversion right. So now if you see see RC so that is R2 R3 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3. So if you substitute equation 1 in equation D then this will be now you see R2 R3 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3 so that is equals to RC into R1 that will be there. So now we can have the value of R1 that will be RARB plus RARC plus RBRC divided by RC right. Now similarly what we will do is we will substitute value of 2 into equation D. Now you see R1 R3 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3 so that is equals to RB into R2 that I need to write. So based on that I can say that R2 that is equals to RARB plus 
आर ए आर सी प्लस आर बी आर सी डिवाइड बाय आर बी एंड सिमिलरली वी कैन हैव इक्वेशन ऑफ आर थ्री बाय सब्सटीट्यूटिंग इक्वेशन थ्री इनटू इक्वेशन डी सो नाउ वी गॉट द वैल्यू ऑफ आर वन आर टू एंड आर थ्री That is what I have already explained as per this conversion you see. So both of these formulas are same. So all you need to remember is when you want to convert star into delta, then you will have to multiply each of that pair and add it. Like see R A R B plus R A R C plus R B R C, and for a calculation of R one divided by R C, for calculation of R two divided by R B, for calculation of R three divided by R A. So that is how you just have to. Calculate the values when you convert star to delta. Now I'll give you one very interesting example, so that will resolve your understanding further more. So whenever you have problem based on equivalent calculation, here we are a little bit to calculate equivalent resistance in between A and B. So to calculate equivalent resistance, first of all we need to see series and parallel connection. After that only we need to apply star delta conversion. so if you see here this 54 ohm resistors these three resistors are in parallel so first of all we need to resolve this parallel connection as you see these three resistors that is there in parallel right so as it is there in parallel equivalent resistance that will be 1 by r is equals to 1 by 54 plus 1 by 54 Plus one by fifty-four, and that is equals to three by fifty-four. So I can say that resistance R that is fifty-four by three means it is eighteen ohm. So let me replace eighteen ohm instead of these three resistors. So now what I have done is I have replaced eighteen ohm instead of these three. Right now I need to see. Series and parallel in this circuit, so I don't see anything which is there in series and parallel for this circuit, right? So now what I'll do is I'll be converting this star into delta so that I can have further simplification of this circuit. So you see, six ohm, six ohm, six ohm. That star is over here, so I can make it to delta. You see how I can make it to delta. So this star that I can convert into delta. Now as All these resistors are there with six ohm only. I need to calculate only one resistor value, and for star to delta conversion, we need to multiply each of that pair and add. So six into six plus six into six plus six into six that I need to do. And if I calculate this resistor, then I need to divide opposite resistor. But here all the value of resistor is six. So I need to divide it by six only. So this will be six plus six plus six means eighteen ohm. So all these three resistors that is of eighteen ohm only. Let me redraw this again, which is equivalent of given circuit. So you see this star now that is having delta and that is having resistors eighteen ohm with each of that resistors, right? Now we are dealing with to further simplify this circuit. So you see, now we have these two resistors that is connected in parallel with each other. So as it is connected in parallel with each other, its value R that will be 18 into 18 divided by 18 plus 18, so that will be 9 ohm, right? And you see. this two resistors that is also there in parallel to each other and as both are parallel with value 18 parallel with 18 that is 9 ohm only so what i need to do is i need to replace equivalent of this two again so now this is of 9 ohm which is parallel of this two and this is also of 9 ohm that is parallel of this two so now you can see 
these two resistors are there in series so that is making it to 9 plus 9 right that is 18 ohm and that 18 ohm that is there in parallel with this 18 ohm so resultant R A B that is 18 into 18 divided by 18 plus 18 so that is 9 ohm so equivalent resistance that is 9 ohm in between A and B so this is how we can resolve values of equivalent resistance step by step where first of all you will have to check for series and parallel combina combination and if you don't have series and parallel combination then you should go for star to delta or delta to star conversion for further simplification of circuit i hope you have understood this and still if you have further queries you just place that in comment box i'll be happy to help you